from the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. 624 is the time. Welcome back into Daybreak, everybody. It's Wellness Wednesday. And look, the inconsistency in the weather, early allergy season, it's keeping exam rooms busy, including the one that Dr. Devin Ballard runs. So although viruses and allergies are two very different things, they have one thing in common. Neither can be treated with antibiotics. Joining us this morning to keep you healthy is Baptist Health, Dr. Devin Ballard. He's at Sherwood Family Medical Center. Great to see you as always, Dr. Ballard. Yep. This is that time of the year where I'm sure people come in wondering, what do I have, Doc? And look, if they aren't familiar with allergies and they may really be questioning, you know, what is this that's happening to me right now? And treatment options, antibiotics, not an option, right? No, like a lot of people come in and say, uh, I have bronchitis or a sinus infection, uh, but symptoms have been going on for three or four weeks. Mm -hmm. You know, intermittent cough, congestion, sneezing, nasal congestion, ear pressure, uh, a lot of it's allergies. And it's not the small thing, like Little Rock's literally one of the top 20 perennial allergy cities in the U.S. They actually measure the parts per million of the allergies in the air, and you can't get away from it. So literally, uh, if you look at your uh, pool or, a, or, a, or a, a bird bath outside, look at the top of it. There's like a, thousands of small little pollen balls on top, and after a while, it'll start floating to the bottom, and you'll see it's literally pollen is everywhere. If you see it rain, like after today, yeah. watch the drains after two or three days after it dries. It'll be, it'll be all yellow, and the yellow stain is from all the pollen from the air getting uh, and, and traveling down. So you're breathing it in. You're uh, uh, outside in the car. If you're at a ba baseball game like we were talking about, uh, uh, and uh, people with... Uh, Convertibles. Yeah, yeah. Look at their cars after a few hours outside. See how much pollen's in their car. Get a get a white glove and and wipe it. See what happens. It's, and, it's significant. And similar, if we talk about antibiotics. Everyone wants to take them because they think they're the, the cure all, right? It's, it's same thing you tell people with colds and and viruses, right? Like, the, antibiotics. Are, you got to go through. Yeah, not the key. So usually you you want to treat with an antihistamine yeah. of source, a nasal steroid. Uh, there's Flonex, Nasonex. There's prescription ones over the counter. You got Zyrtec, Allegra, Zizol, uh, antihistamine, and uh, nasal steroids are the first line of treatment uh, and then if we truly get a flu or a strep it presents differently I mean uh, the classic flu is I feel good Monday and Tuesday morning I woke up I got a fever 102 achy like I got ran over I need to get a flu test maybe I need to get a COVID test strep acute onset of sore throat usually the back of the throat will have be red have petechiae there'll be some findings acute onset of uh, fever so there'll be some presentations where antibiotics are appropriate but a lot of times it's more seasonal allergies that need to be treated and, and or tested for which we can actually do at the office now too so all right well if you want to get that testing done so you know what you are allergic to go see your primary care physician they'll make sure you get connected with someone who can treat you for allergies get tested for allergies and they might be able to do it right there in the office as well so Baptist Health Healthline, the information on your screen, baptist-health.com for more resources. Dr. Ballard, we'll see you next time. Thanks again. Thank you.